So after watching a lot of comments, so we understand that people are finding difficulties playing backhand. So we have decided to make a very simple video, more simple video on the backhand. So I have a challenge. After watching this video, the backhand in badminton will not be difficult anymore. So as I have already mentioned, in backhand, this does not exist. This rubbing thing, this mopping or something, rubbing exists. So let's look into the details of it. So can you do this? If you can do this, can you do this? See, back it straight. Can you do this? I'll go slow. Can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? If you can do this, your 90% of the back end, you're done. There is no difficulty. This is, it is this much simple. If you can do this, it is this much simple. Let's say shuttle is here. Same idea. Can you do this? Same idea. Shuttle is here. Can you do this? I'm not changing anything. See? I'm not changing anything. If the shuttle is here, it's a muscle memory. It's a muscle memory. Can you do this? The shuttle is here. Again, it's a muscle memory. That's it. If you can do this, you're done with your backhand. Can we check with the shuttles? Are you ready? See, same practice. Here. You have already practiced this with the shuttle now. Same thing. Same thing. when you get the shell here it's a same thing again hit, hit. so now let's understand the technicality of the grips so please pay close attention here this is very simple this is not so complicated this is mid this is right, this is left. Mid part, right, left. So four fingers on your right, thumb on your left. Remember, do not go close like that. Four fingers on the right, thumb on the left, and mid, space. You have to have a good space, see? Mid, I have a space here. So this is how you hold it. Four fingers on the right, thumb on the left. This is as simple as it is. Now the idea is to do the same thing. See, right to left, left to right, right to left. Left to right, right to left. Straight first, see, straight first. Let's check the, with the real time. You know how to hold the grip now. Palm facing upward, palm facing down, very important. Palm facing down, not like that. Not like that, that something here and all. Just palm facing down. And you know, four fingers, right, thumb, left. And same practice. See, same idea. If you hit up, this is going to be a clear. If you hit low, it is going to be what? Backhand smash. It is as simple as it is. Let me show you. goes behind your body so some of you might be wondering why only this grip this grip or something you can change your thumb here you can go for the turnal grip or you know the backhand grip the backhand overhead grip not the backhand grip backhand this grip is here the turnal grip is here you can just change but idea is same Start 
practicing the same thing. You know how to hold it now. You know to you know to grip it. You know how the swinging action is. Same. Practice this. Now, what is the difference if you put this on? Your racket is ten times heavier now. Your racket is ten times heavier. Practice with this. Do some. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Twenty times. Then just relax. Again, same. One, two, three, four. Again, twenty times. Relax. This is how you do it. Do it very seriously. Same stroke. One, two, three. Same. Twenty times. Just relax. After a while, you can remove this and see your racket is so lighter. You will feel really surprised to see, to feel your racket like a butterfly. Please go and check today. I hope the videos are very beneficial and you are enjoying the videos and you are really learning and getting something out of it. Please go to the club and try this simple way of backhand. In the last video, I had asked a question. It was a little bit deceptive, tricky question. So let's see. Let's find out the answer. So, this is what it is. Anyways, it is what it is. This was a tricky question because there is a lesson here. If you want to guess, as a badminton player, as a, when you come to the advanced level badminton, then only you will understand. You should not be guessing. You should not be anticipating. Nine out of ten shuttles, you cannot anticipate. There are situations where you can really anticipate. Where there, there are very very less situation where you can anticipate, but. You cannot anticipate in badminton. This is what the lesson is all about. If you guess, you are gone. If you anticipate, you are gone. Because opponent can make any time deception. This is what it is. So, now I have a question. I am going to show a very very simple backhand. I am going to show uh, one international player who plays a very very cool backhand who can just walk who can just see the shuttle from close to the net and can just walk 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 and play backhand it exactly goes to the back box without any doubt either there or there I'm just show you I'm going to just demonstrate would you be able to guess which international player is that please check it out